Hey there, it's Adara. In this final video, I'm excited to introduce you to Retool Vectors. So in the last few videos, we've built our own blog post generator, but what if we wanted AI to be able to reference content that is specific to our business, our industry, or just content in general that's not widely available on the internet? What we can do is we can vectorize that content and feed it to our LLM, and we can use it to create content that sounds like us or that knows about those topics. So I'm going to show you how to do this uh, using retool vectors. So go ahead and navigate to the resources tab of your instance, and you can go ahead and see retool vectors here. This is where we can create vectors. The process of creating vectors is super easy. All you have to do is name it and either upload the document in plain text or as a PDF, or you can also give it a site to crawl and it'll crawl that URL and grab the text from it and vectorize it. So I have access to this um, uh, service called Exploding Topics, which collects all these fast growing topics across startups, beauty, um, all kinds of, of uh, topics that are generating a lot of interest right now. And looking at this by myself, it can be a little overwhelming. There's just a lot of information here. So I think this is a really good example of something that we can vectorize and we can use our chat interface to get insights into what's growing and what we might want to pay attention to. So I went ahead and vectorized just the beauty subtopic of exploding topics. And when something gets vectorized, you can um, <clears throat> click on it. Let's just say supplement trends. And you can actually see what text was vectorized here to you know, make sure it is exactly what you're expecting. That said, let's go ahead and create a simple chat interface to start to engage with this vector, which is now in our instance as exploding topics beauty. So I'm gonna go ahead and create an app and in this app, we're going to put just the chat interface or the chat component. And this is fairly updated. It comes with a lot of features out of the box that lets us chat as if we're chatting with ChatGPT. Um, the only thing we're going to change here is we're going to click use retool vectors to provide more context to your query. And then we're going to reference the exploding topics beauty vector. Oops, let's do that. And then let's save it. And then I'm going to go ahead and run this. I'm just going to refresh it to make sure it's actually referencing that vector. Yep. Great. And now we can ask it uh, information specific to that vector. So what are the top three fastest growing um, exploding topics in beauty? Perfect. And so now it's actually referencing uh, the vector that we gave it and highlighting the specific topics that are fastest growing in beauty. So this is just one very simple example of how to use a vector. As you can imagine, this use case could be really powerful for a couple things. One, um, I like to call it enterprise search. So enterprise search is when a company has so much data across multiple data sources, maybe it's in Confluence, Slack, internal docs, Google docs, and as an employee, it can be difficult to navigate and find the information that you need. So one possible use case for retool vectors is vectorizing relevant content for a person's job function and allowing them to just chat directly to find the information that they need. So. That's one use case that could be really um, impactful with retool vectors. Another one is um, customer support. So in a lot of customer support functions, uh, instead of having to know where to find the right information, you could empower your support agents to just query a chatbot and have everything vectorized and they're able to get the information they need, especially if it's a technical support role, they'll be able to get unstuck or unblocked so much faster. And last but not least, which is the example we'll go through, is content generation. So what if you already have an existing body of content, either works that you've written, blog posts that you or your company have written, maybe you want to be referencing that body of work, maybe you have YouTube videos, you can vectorize all of that 
and you can even have that affect the prompts that you've written so that it creates content that sounds like you and that knows about things that you've written before. So connecting that to our vectors is super easy. We're gonna go back to our main app. We're gonna go to our blog post, our blog post uh, generator. And uh, apologies, actually this, we don't need to do this anymore, but if we wanted to um, reference a <clears throat> vector in our query, all we have to do is within the body of the query here, click use retool vectors, <coughs> and then here, select the topic that we wanted to have knowledge on. And it's the same in our workflow, actually. If we go back to our workflows here, again, all we have to do is click use retool vectors and select the vector here. And it'll, uh, I'm gonna refresh this since the vector just uh, got created. Perfect. And all we have to do is select the vector here and we'll, we'll be good to go. So. That's a high level introduction to retool vectors. We went ahead and vectorized a database of beauty topics, uh, created a chat interface to ask it questions, and then connected that vector to our workflows so that it's knowledgeable about our body of work. Super excited. I hope this video was really helpful in showing you what's possible with retool vectors.